Hi, I'm Steve Mann and this is Paper Classroom. Welcome to another one of our Fibre Unit tutorials. This particular tutorial is about chemical pulping methods. So it's just really a quick overview of the, the methodology of chemical pulping. First of all, we talk about reaction conditions and this applies to either sulfate pulping or sulfite pulping. It's done at high temperature. It's done at high pressure. It uh, lasts over several hours. In the case of the sulfite pulp, it's very low pH. In the case of the sulfate pulp, it's quite high, 10, 12 pH. Um, if you get to level four, then we'll obviously be talking in detail about all these reaction conditions. But at level two, we just need to know the basics, the trends, the outlines. So this is a typical modern day pulper. This is called a continuous pulper. And we're bringing the pulping chemicals and the fiber at the top of the tower. And over several hours, they work their way down where they're uh, subject to treatment with the white liquor and they're washed and cleaned and then out they come at the bottom. In the old days we used to use almost like a, a giant uh, iron football that was known as a keer. Uh, but this is the modern way of doing it. Keers of course were batch processes. You fill it with so much liquor, so much fibre or wood chips, leave it for a few hours, tip it upside down, empty it out um, but today everyone wants to get rid of batch processing. Continuous processing is much more cost effective. It's cheaper to do and you get a much better um, quality. So this is a nice schematic that represents the uh, pulping processes. We take the logs, as you saw in the, an earlier video, put them through a chipper. The chips go into a digester, that's the cooking vessel. And as I said, high temperatures, high pressures, several hours, powerful chemicals. And again, we we used to when we used to release the pressure in the old days, all the steam just went up into the roof, eventually corroded the roof and went through the roof into the sky. It was an easy way to find a, a pulp or a paper mill as you were driving along. Just look for a big cloud of steam and the paper mill or the pulp mill would be immediately below it. So, but nowadays, now we're all uh, worried about energy conservation and energy costs. We use a blow tank to collect all that steam and reuse it. The fibre that will come through here you may wish to screen to take out any shive, any bundles of fibres that didn't get completely separated. You may wish to bleach it. Um, and you may or may not wish to refine it. It depends what you're going to do with the pulp. If you refine it, then you might put it through a cleaning stage and then to stop preparation. In that case, you are an integrated mill or you may not refine it, you may just thicken it and then turn it into sheets of unrefined pulp, dry it and sell it. So then you are a pulp mill. The essential part of the pulping, there's been many, many, many dozens of different pulping methods. The only ones that have survived are those that were economically viable and produced a strong sheet and the processes that were economically viable you were able to recover the original cooking chemicals and use them again so you could continually recycle those old cooking chemicals and the one process that's head and shoulders above all other processes for being able to recycle the cooking chemicals was the craft process the sulfate process so what we do here, this is the cooking vessel. We introduce the chips and we introduce this mixture of cooking chemicals that we call white liquor. It's uh, cooked for several hours, so high temperatures, high pressures. That dissolves most of the lignin. We then separate out the lignin solution now that we call black liquor. 
it's actually incredibly dark brown and it smells really horrible and that's the black liquor so the fibers will carry on on this route and the black liquor is really liquid lignin and lignin will burn beautifully so what we need to do is to concentrate it so it goes through a series of evaporators to increase the solid content of this black liquor and then we can actually burn that liquor as if it was fuel oil so it burns in a in a boiler you use the heat to create the steam and everything that's burned we then collect the ash and that ash is really the original cooking chemicals or the oxides of the cooking chemicals so we collect that ash and we dissolve it in water that then produces what we call green liquor now no chemical process is 100 percent efficient we do need to uh, you know we do you know you lose some of the chemicals it's not not totally efficient so we lose some of the chemicals so we really need to top it up with some extra sodium hydroxide so we do that in a process here that we call the costicization process so by costicizing the green liquor we then regenerate our initial white liquor which then goes back into the cooking pot along with a new supply of fibers and this is very very chemically efficient so it reduces the economics considerably makes it very cheap or relatively cheap to operate compared to other processing uh, other pulping methods and that really is the essential bit uh, again at this level it's essential to know that in the exam it's very common that they will block out these three words they'll give you the liquors and they'll ask you what process goes on in each of these three stages or sometimes they will give you these three stages and they will ask you what liquor is generated from each of those stages well i think that's uh, about enough for level two again at level three you're going to a lot more detail you look at the chem sorry at level four you look at the uh, the pressures and the temperatures and the side reactions and the chemical reactions but at level two we just need to know this outline so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it informative please feel free to leave us any messages and we look forward to seeing you on another video bye for now